Cancer continues to be a disease that afflicts millions and millions of people every year, and it's still one of the biggest global killers that humans face. And there are a lot of different approaches to treating cancer that have come and gone, some more effective than others, and there are a lot of innovative new treatments. Paul, BCT, your firm, is taking a really unique approach to targeting cancers, but it's also an approach that was used in the past that you've created a new solution with. How do enzymes and amino acids and removal of amino acids help cure cancer? People try to manipulate different uh, amino acids in the 70s and see what happened by removing certain amino acids. Uh, how would that do to the tumor-bearing mice? And of course, there are two types of amino acids. One is called essential amino acid, and the other is non-essential. So you cannot remove essential amino acids because they all die, <laughs> right. tumor or, or mice. For the non-essential amino acids, one amino acid that consistently came up was uh, arginine. So if you remove arginine from a diet, it would retard tumor growth. And conversely, if you feed the mice with a lot of arginine, the, 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 the mice the just tumor growth they die, the tumor yeah. just grew very rapidly. Sadly, in those days, there's no means to remove arginine uh, in, in, in patients' diet. Um, so uh, the idea sort of fizzles out. And so how do you remove arginine? People have been trying also for, for weird ideas like dialysis, um, even diet and other means. But the obvious thing to do is to use an enzyme that could convert arginine safely to uh, the arginine degradation products. The obvious uh, candidate is uh, an enzyme called arginase. However, this arginase has a very short half-life in the body, practically a couple of minutes. So my, my idea, and in fact the basis of my, basis of my patterns, uh, that you, if you add, conjugate the enzyme with a substance, a, a polymer, called uh, polyethylene glycol, which is antifreeze, you could lengthen this half-life. And this, uh, people do it all the time with other drugs. The drug would then stay in circulation for about a week. For far longer rather than a couple of minutes. And with that, the arginine level in the blood would go down to almost like zero. In fact, we, we have patients that walking around without arginine in, in their blood for over a year, 18 months and so on. And uh, some patients with sensitive tumors, uh, arginine, uh, so if, uh, if you're completely reliant on arginine for growth, uh, that type of tumor is called arginine oxytrophic cancer. Um, Tumors like melanoma, prostate cancer, and acute myeloid leukemias, or even some, some sarcomas. You've in clinical trials in a number of countries. What have been the results? Uh, one clinical trial currently running in the US. We have completed the phase one safety and uh, pharmacokinetics. Uh, we're into efficacy study, and we are seeing uh, patients with responses. Uh, one patient with um, widely metastatic melanoma has gone to complete remission for over a year. In fact, 18 months. Um, the patient is still surviving after stopping treatment. There's a case of a young kid, four years old, in, in, in England, um, with a tumor called Ewing's uh, sarcoma, gone to his lungs, and the disease is now stable after failed three rounds of chemotherapy. And we're aiming to resect those tumors, aim, aiming for a cure. And we're also seeing some responses uh, uh, in acute myeloid leukemia uh, with our drug in combination with a, with a drug called cytarabine. Um, but that's uh, still early. Where does artificial intelligence play a role in helping? We know the certain type of cancer. We think maybe 5 to 10 percent uh, of all patients with bear this uh, bio, uh, biological marker uh, that would respond to our, uh, our drug. And uh, we are collecting uh, data on, on, on these uh, patients. Um, it would not be um, organ specific because um, as long as the type of tumor that exhibit this biomarker, then we could pr predict with certain degree of uh, confidence that would, uh, the drug would work for them.